Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from. Welcome to our live day trading technical analysis for Tuesday, May the 25th, 2021. It's currently 6 a.m. Pacific time, thus 9 a.m. Eastern time in New York and in Toronto. We say hello to the brave traders who, without me posting a link inside of our Discord room, they was i don't know they whatever um clever trick they use to find the live uh <laughs> day trading link and find themselves inside of, of this so that's maybe so thanks mr joe for alerting me but actually i'm going to leave it like that for today uh let's call it an experiment so i see mr joe in there good morning beautiful gates um miss <laughs> festus uh -huh. Uh, Mr. Andrew, you all manage without a link being posted in the Discord room to find your way in here. Congratulations. Seriously, I mean it. So, if anybody is in the Discord room and, um, well, they will, they will let me know afterwards and I will just say, okay, oops, sorry. Okay, very good. Well, sorry, I have um, Mr. Joe's reporting that he was having maybe... Um, Technical difficulty. I'm the one with technical difficulty. I was ready to go for the show and for whatever reason on Tuesdays, right? So we have the Tuesday uh, Put scalping Tuesday for Telex is the, the the computer glitch uh, Tuesday So I've been ready here for the last 20 minutes literally and I'm sitting in front of the, this computer Just trying to get it to do something. I don't know what the computer is trying to tell me because <laughs> otherwise He's able to do a coaching session every time <laughs> without anything and uh, when I'm ready to go live it decide to just do whatever all right so very good so we are tuesday uh may the 25th we said that which means yesterday was monday which means that yesterday being monday and uh, especially the fourth week of the of the month we have a pattern that we have seen on here that we have shared with you that there are many many more opportunities to make money trading options the day uh after uh, the, the day after the week after monthly expiration and oh boy it did not miss yesterday so very quickly uh what's uh well the chart that we are looking at yes that was an opportunity to make money yesterday for if for what if for whatever reason <laughs> if let's say you were part of uh, subscribers as of last week uh b1 was one of the stock on there and we shared that with uh, the larger audience yesterday so uh a gap from yesterday about uh, 113 the stock went all the way to 120 late before retreating so um, the 120 yeah the 120 calls i believe are the the strike price that uh, we recommended last thursday right so uh that one went two thousand percent folks yeah because they went in the money and but still you have made a great trade yesterday by trading against that trade on it or just strictly i mean if actually potentially there was even it was even easier to trade after an hour when it started trending above it while posting new high of the day and uh, just uh, tr tr trending up that there was definitely money to be made on that that was just monday folks so we still have tuesday today wednesday tomorrow thursday the day after tomorrow and friday uh the 28th so speaking of friday i'm thinking of as of now it's too early so i'm not gonna say it but uh let's just say um I may or may not do something uh, on Friday, so I will I will definitely uh, let, let you know. So money was to be made yesterday. There was money to be made trading options uh, on B1 yesterday. If you were not on B1 yesterday, a stock that we talk about on here every single day. I written an article on uh, um, the blog successfultrading.com about this. I even made a video of how we have been making money trading QQQ. So if by now, if by now it has not registered with, uh, I mean, a, any of the traders who are wondering, oh, how do I make money trading options, uh, day trading options, um, we, we shared it live here. In this live day trading show yesterday, I spoke again about QQQ. I shared the research that I finally compiled this weekend and it wasn't that difficult. Miss J. Lu can attest of that. We did it live during her one-on-one -on -one coaching session and uh, we posted that. Well, guess what? 
JD yesterday, you could have scored a 10 bagger on JD. I'm not on JD. You see, my brain is already fast forwarding. <laughs> that, that's just uh, on QQQ uh, trading the 332 calls. We traded the 332 call yesterday. They went at the open from 14 cents all the way to a dollar 37. At least I think I noted the dollar 37. After that, I got distracted a little bit. Maybe it's gonna have gone higher. When they came back a little bit later on, I traded the 333 uh, puts at the very end of the day those they went for 200 percent so meaning on the same day i'm able to scalp just based on the ability to read charts technical analysis that is right uh, so scalping here this this is the, the the point on here you have to be patient again we know that uh, qqq just like spy and rwm they have an extra 15 minute trading all the way to 4 16 p.m eastern time so here as usual as usual because that's what they love doing yeah as usual, in the last 15 minutes, those 333 put they got in the money, and from 15 cents they went all the way to 60 cents. Yeah, that's that's how you make money trading option, knowing the pattern, specializing in this strategy. So the late strategy, and it works even on uh, on on spy. Let, let, let me go on spy. The late strategy definitely work on spy. So I didn't trade the put the call on spy yesterday throughout the day because again QQQ was moving the fastest. But yesterday late on spy. Uh, what did we trade? We traded the 420 put late, and those, I mean, the risk was a little bit higher, right? Uh, you could have gotten in at the lowest, I think, around 30, 38, 40 cents, and they went, they went close to a dollar, very, very late, yeah? Uh, when the stock dipped all the way to 418.95, as you see here, yeah. So, but again, just that last candle. So, patience, patience, patience is the key into making money in option trading the, the, those not the 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 the, the, the other stock but at least those we highlighted on here other definitely uh well let's we talk okay so that's the charts for spy and qqq but maybe on a daily charts for spy and qqq very quickly here on a tuesday uh the last four days spy is posting high highs now it's the clearly has recovered above the ema 8 and ema 20 i believe how about qqq yesterday in this show we were talking about qqq needed to go past 330 34 which was the green line oh my goodness this okay you see this is this is what i'm talking about hello uh is that trading view is that my computer or for whatever reason uh, i'm having just uh, <laughs> okay let's see simply stop typing while you're on the charts and pull the search box okay okay well three qqq will not work okay here's qqq here's the daily chart it speak for itself I, at least this, this chart should be speaking of you right we have four consecutive candles granted the red candle on friday on, on on the 21st yes but it's still in terms of measuring higher highs the stock is posting higher highs so that's that trend there so the current area or zone of resistance price of resistance if you will previously let's say it's going to be about 330 the high of this candle here was 336.65 but i mean it's not really a rejection because we don't have that many touches there so let's say 334 from that on uh 340 is the next level on here it should this momentum continue as we have seen before remember right as we have said we have highlighted here in the past this is about um pattern recognition on, on, on stock charts we have talked about that we teach you how to do that here just like we teach you quantitative analysis which is the study of the past performance or trends so how to recognize trend on here the trend typically has been that after these indexes they fake whatever bearish direction that they go we go and put on brand new high that's so for me right now i'm looking at qqq the 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 target there for me is clearly that upper bollinger though it's coming down so 340 areas uh when for friday of course for friday so uh, it's either today tomorrow when the opportunity presents itself and then when QQQ is bearish, whatever, I would like to see how low I can buy some 340, 342 calls for Friday. Otherwise, I mean, I, I can day trade it. Just day trade, day trading QQ is not a bad thing to do on a Friday. Yeah, like we could, we could, we could have worse. So definitely that's, that, that, that's the, uh, on, uh, as of now, the charts have turned bullish again, but again, doesn't mean we can be bullish just like on last Friday, right? And put in a four dollar uh, red candle, which means the calls will be winning on on that day. That's definitely something that's uh, is possible. Okay.
Okay, as I say that, my live trading is not moving at all. So I don't even know if you guys are hearing me. Okay, so it was an hourglass and now the chart is showing again. Oh my goodness, these Tuesday shows are becoming very, very painful. Very, very, very painful. Oh my goodness, what is this thing doing? Okay, I apologize folks for the technical difficulties because I'm witnessing them on, on here. I've been speaking on the other screen, so once I came here, I saw an hourglass and now <laughs> YouTube is just going, showing whatever, whatever screen that they want. So let me know guys, whatever you're seeing, because I'm not sure uh, about the, the, the stream. Is it getting to you or, 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 or what? So okay that adventurous tuesday okay all right so let's see okay i was talking about the charts for qqq so what's in store for us today let's uh take a look on here what's uh what's moving what's moving the the, the market on tuesday and to identify opportunity how to make money obvious well obviously one thing for us we we, we know and we have seen a stock like the one after posting two 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 twenty bagger yesterday yep on the 120 um this stock, I mean, I don't trust B1 to be, I told you that yesterday, right? But I had to trade it yesterday. But this morning, so the stock gap up yesterday. So this morning in pre-markets, what, what is B1 doing? B1, it's um, the market over, the overall market is gapping up slightly. B1 is not showing particularly any sign of great strength. And uh, from a technical point of view, the price level that where B1 closed yesterday is a resistance level right there is a trend line oh my goodness ah. oh my goodness okay there, there's a trend line that I wanted to show before my screen froze uh, the current trend line I, I changed it yesterday but the trend line break smart will follow the exponential moving average uh, 20 the green line we close above it yesterday, but I'm not sure what this stock. So we keep an eye on B1. Uh, really, my level of patience on B1 is going to be if B1 cannot trade above 120 today at any point today, uh, that's uh, a bad sign for for the bulls. Yeah, it has with the momentum that it showed yesterday. It has it touched 120 yesterday. It has to be able to at least retest 120 today. It's three dollars from that. Um, maybe in a couple of hours, I may be sharing a different story saying, okay, B1 is back, but we definitely, I mean, there is no reason for B1. If B1 start trading this morning, or it can start, I mean, the starting point is not the problem. B1 can even dip further to trying to close that, that, uh, that, 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 that gap. But at some point, at some point, B1 need to test 120 again for us to remain bullish. Otherwise, eh, it's going to be another watch trade. And in which case, I will have zero patience for that because they are, many many other stock moving yeah how do we know well we go to finvis right um the finvis on here give us a scanner which tells us stock that are optionable over 15 dollars and trading more than 75 let's even go 1 million shares right even better daily that's that's the daily average of number of shares and we see plenty of them i may not know some of them but uh, um the the s sketchers Okay, that's only surprising. The volume is, is saying seven shares. Seven shares are traded and the stock is up 3.45%. It's just that because I know I'm from, I've traded that stock. Billy Billy, um, a lot of stock from China, uh, they did not follow the bullish momentum yesterday. So I saw that through the lenses of the successful trade alert because we have quite a few. How many stock do we have on the successful trade alert uh, watch list this week from China? I believe... Uh, Baba is in there, uh, IQ is in there, and uh, our friend JD is in there. So I was pleasantly surprised, well, pleasantly surprised. Uh, with JD, you never know what the surprise is going to be, pleasant or unpleasant. Uh, but this morning, a lot of them are gapping up. Uh, I mean, some economic news came there. Here's Baidu, another, oh, sh look at that chart. I mean, th this, uh, I don't want to touch this thing <laughs> because of it. So yeah, JD is gapping up plus plus 1.73 just below 73 dollars this is a stock that almost traded at 75 the other day so again just like b1 
it show me show show me show me show me the for for JD today and tomorrow if JD cannot trade above 75 forget about it really yeah because the market is the overall market is moving so this stock has to be able to move accordingly as well or at least show some sort of strength yeah um so that that that's on the the the, the FCX index um I share China large cap is up 2.26 percent yeah that means if the index is up two percent and a stock like JD cannot move, I mean Baba, I don't. That that that's another one that's really is a mystery. What has been going on with the trade on Baba recently? If they cannot move down two or three percent, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. They, why? Because there are other stocks that are moving much much better. Uh, on the opposite direction, remember SPCE last week. The chart of uh, SPCE could have led us to believe that it's not that it's bearish, but it's it's the daily chart. It's on the upper Bollinger. It may take its time on here, but keep an eye on it before just because um, the when when you you expect the release, that's when that that stock will pop. So SPCE may take a couple of days on here to get some room. Over, over um, above the, the current price on the upper Bollinger, uh, but its options are expensive. The implied volatility yesterday was like 140. I did not even try to touch it, to, to be honest with you. But hey, if uh, the share gets uh, cheaper on here, for those who want to, to buy some cheap shares, uh, hey, this is a stock that was trading at $60. So I think a great price, 25 a word is 25 and below is definitely something but i mean we you don't want it to be going at 25 something and look at the pattern that it seems to be using right gap up go sideways for two days and then gap up again so again pattern recognition right so here here it is it's currently 916 i'm giving you the pattern on spc yeah last thursday gap up then went sideways pretty much yeah meaning no 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 further higher highs between thursday and and friday and then monday we gapped up and so today we expect to make one of those inside bar scandals just not going anywhere hence meaning that tomorrow yeah so later on on this week by by, by friday or well, again you can take the, a trade for I meaning really the strike price of 50 for let's say end of june or whatever and in which case it may be better and you just follow if the trend is ready to, to recover for the time being i mean 30 30 it seems to be uh, that struck price to look for this week but uh those options were expensive so theta decay may help on here uh right so those are the stock we wanted to talk about uh i will be remiss if i do not bring in a couple of stock in the same sector uh that is snap let's look at the daily chart of snap on here as i'm trying to nurse uh trading view into doing something all right so i mean it, i'm not suggesting that it trade like uh, the indexes but we saw that on the indexes right red friday but other than look at the size of the candles man. since last the 19th that's wednesday higher highs on snap so where's the limit on snap well that's what we say right when it start and look look at the shape on here oh this is a perfect example this is a perfect example of the momentum and the value of using that cell when you are doing daily analysis, weekly analysis, or even monthly analysis, the direction of the yellow line exponential moving average is. Yeah, it has done that several times. Here it is curving here and switching direction back on April the 5th. It went all the way from, uh, geez, this one was trading when it, it made the turn. It started at 52 and in one, two, three, four, five days, the stock went to a high of 63. Here, the direction of the EMA changed since the 19th. And if you were to pick that up, it, imagine even if, if you picked up um, uh, the trade here on the 19th when it closed at 54, 53.91. Yeah. And then the next three days ensued. My friend right now, yesterday, it posted a high of almost $61. That's lots of gain on there. Now, we're having a crossover of the recent momentum above the older momentum meaning yeah that's a bullish con confirmation because we usually talk about it the bearish uh, con confirmation in the other direction which it's uh, it's shown on here on this day when was this this was made a church right the stock starting posted lower start posting lower low after a, a huge gap on here and the slope of the exponential moving average really really accelerated down now it's the opposite direction and thus forming another U. We have shown you this shape in here, pattern reconnection, double U's, U's, and that's all that 
the stock, most of the stock, some of the stock, they, 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 they spend their time on the daily chart doing. Some stock, we have a linear type of trend. I mean, this, the chart that I can think of is like HD. Let me show you in, in just as a contrast, right, in terms of pattern. So look, look at this one. This one, there is no W, but they, they could, there were some W before, but a, a chart like this one, after breaking out of this uh, known as Darvas box, meaning multi-month of consolidation between uh, late August all the way to March, and then breakout, and just went boom, boom. Now, I mean, it's coming down a little bit, actually. Maybe, not maybe, because now, now, uh, HG is bearish, is bearish here. Well, it's trading below a, a, a exponential moving average 8, but, I mean, that wasn't the purpose for us uh, studying on here. If you just want to include HD uh, on the it's cool is cooling off on, on on here and so the trend being bearish there could be some opportunity there for some money to be made actually yeah let, 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 let's, let's think of that but i would just wanted to show you the contrast between a stock posting a sideways pattern w pattern which is you can make money on it if you catch it on on either on one of the the, the side right so or a breakout like, like, like this one so